Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you, Don, Mark, Cliff, everybody. All right. Let me tell you, it, it, this is uh, this is pretty historic, uh, terrible. I mean, it is just unbelievable what's going on regarding about the market, guys. Um, this coronavirus, you know, got to be careful what you wish for, and you know. When I was I was on a you know I was on a couple of shows and doing a couple of events and people ask me you know they, my phone is just blowing up. People asking me what do I do, Fausto? Do I hold? Do I do this? I'm like, listen, I, I I can only tell you from experience that I've been through, but it is just absolutely just incredible. I mean, uh, I'm making money on certain things on my day trades, but I'm getting crushed on my swing trades. And you know what? The problem is that what I what I always look at is like. Um, the audio's a little low. Hold on one second. Let me see something here. Oh, there you go. All right, let me just raise the volume for you. Um, basically, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, you know, you always look at it. Could you buy things cheaper? I mean, that's where it comes down to it. You know, it's. I mean, I'll start off with Boeing. Uh, Boeing is just getting decimated. Just getting decimated, a four hundred dollar stock down to about a hundred. I mean, you guys know it. I own it at one seventy, and I, I, I'm like, do I sell here? I don't own a lot of shares of it. You know, I don't own a lot of it. I kind of put, uh, you know, that's why one thing you always learn as a trader: you never put your, all your eggs in one basket. But, um, but you basically just a little bit here and there. Listen, if it breaks through a hundred, it's going to seventy five. You know what I mean? That's where the next support levels, and you're talking you know, five, 10 years ago where the stock was at. So, I mean, like, this this is pretty bad. I mean, you know, but it comes to a point where, you, you know, like, it, it, it you got to weather the storm. Um, if you saw what happened in 2008, um, there were people selling Citibank at a dollar, you know, $2.00. And I'm like, well, what's the sense? I mean, I'll go off this goes down to that price. I mean, that would be, that'll be you know. But, but hey, listen, what I look at it this way, if these stocks really fall to certain prices, like I told you, the best, biggest thing to look at is buybacks. And secondly, they could be hostile take takeovers. They really, really could be hostile takeovers. Um, and that's what you have to look at it. So, you know, the president loves his stock market. He loves his, his American companies. And, you know, and I know we love our American people. And obviously, they want to take care of the American people with the whole coronavirus. But, you know, but, but the problem that's happening right now is, like, if you're actually listening and watching what's going on, we don't know if the worst of the worst has happened yet. You know, like, they're just trying to curb it. They know it's going to get bad. Listen, I'm in a hot spot here in New York. You all know that, you know, we closed down our office. Uh, and uh, everybody's working from home. We're all basically want the safety of my, my staff and, and everyone else, but nothing really is going to change. Um, just our headquarters. We don't want to all be in one office. You know, that's basically what they're recommending us all to do here in New York. Uh, it hasn't been mandatory yet, but just want to beat the curve to it. But the thing is, if, if it doesn't get as bad as they, they are predicting to get it, and, and the market is factoring in what it's supposed to look like a month down the road, so if, if, if we were just up a little bit, not that bad, then you could see a huge, huge rally in the market. So um, you just have to kind of just, there's certain things you've got to be able to weather it. You know, you got to really weather that, weather that storm. And, you know, listen, they're, they're great companies. They're great companies. So, listen, they're still in business, everything else. The only, only you know, and unfortunately part about it, it's a global thing. That, that's one of the issues. So, you know, let's try to, let's just try to be, you know, be safe and, and you know what? Your contribution to being healthy is going to help the stock market too. But listen, there's um, there's actually a petition was going around. I heard a rumor about it that they were thinking about preventing shorting. I don't know if anybody hear about that. They were they were preventing. There was there was a rumor going around. I don't know how they would do that, but there was something about preventing. You know that you cannot short stocks anymore. You know for the coronavirus. <laughs> Ken says I'll kill myself. Uh, well, don't do that, Ken. Um, but uh, because because that's what you know. And you know what? There are some pretty uh, that happened in two thousand and eight. Ray said, "Yeah, I mean that's some of the ways of of preventing people just keep uh, dumping it." You know what I mean? 
And by doing that, they would have to cover their shorts. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, let's go through the list. Listen, you saw what happened yesterday. This market is so extremely volatile. We made a, we were up over 1,000 points. We had a big run-up in the market. And now we're having the same thing that's going on right now. Now we're, now we're down. The markets obviously have been halted. We're down right now 820. We'll see how the market opens up. But all I can tell you is this, is that they're trying to do everything they can to stabilize this economy, let people, uh, you know, people be, all right. Yesterday afternoon, I had to go to a meeting. I was in Manhattan, you know, full gear. I got the mask on. I'm walking around, look like, you know, it looked like something out of a movie and uh, rubber gloves and everything like that. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, with all the restaurants closed, I'm telling you, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. You know, a lot, you know, so they're gonna, hopefully we could, we could beat this curve. That's all that matters. Now, regarding about the market, guys, listen, you know, everybody should be trading right now. Every, listen, if you're confined to your house, why not just stay home and sit there and trade the market? This is, is this, now you have an excuse that you have to stay home and trade. So for everyone that's a listener watching it on YouTube and Facebook, you know, we obviously we're broadcasting this live. You guys in the cyber group room, you know it. This is what you train for. Is it too late to learn? No. And you know what? This is going to be going on for a while. So you got to start somewhere. So, guys, let's step it up. Do your homework. You know you got class today with Josh in phase, uh, phase two. This is what it's about. Now let's go back and go through the watch list. You know, I'm not going to go into crazy about what happened yesterday. There was just the usuals, you know, the, the, the airlines, the uh, cruise companies, you know, the um, – Jesus, the casinos, you know. I mean, when look at when 150 down to 54, 48. This is like I don't, I don't, I, I don't even know if, if when was ever been down this low before. So um, it's really all over the place. So uh, there's gonna be, listen, there's gonna be some screaming, screaming buys. You know, when it comes into it comes into this market. Just unfortunately, some of us have to bear the weather. Now let's go through the watch list. There are a couple of stocks that I did post up there. Uh, first of all, I know we've been watching this stock all morning. I know some of you guys jumped in. Hopefully you got in. I tried to put an order at like 460 when support levels right here. Well, let me fix this time frame here. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I didn't get filled. Unfortunately, I had to force into it. So, you know, and we were watching it. I ended up paying five. I thought it was going to get it a lot cheaper. They didn't film me on it. I put a limit order out there. But as of right now, it's looking pretty good for some of us that jumped in. Um, I pointed it out in the cyber group room. I told you guys there were some big, big orders out there that were bidding up the stock. They obviously got filled. Um, you know, there were buyers out there, 14,000 shares. What did I say? There was a couple, there was a bunch of buyers out there when I called it out. There was a, a 16,000 share at like 490. Then there was a, you know, another 7,000 share buyer. Right at four at four ninety again. He kept coming out there and he kept updating and then sure enough, look where it is now. That guy's gotta get those orders filled. So obviously, you know, what are we looking at? Another corona stock. All right, a couple other ones. M I M V. Uh I found this one earlier and I thought she was gonna do pretty good, but now she's starting to back off. She might be a scratch. And that that could happen. That could happen. Uh, another one of the corona stocks right here, a fifty cent stock went to three fifty. It's up about two eighty right now. Uh, stocks up pretty nicely. It's kind of flat since 7:30. Really hasn't gone anywhere. VXRT. So here's another one right here. Uh, another one that's kind of flat. Another another big mover. This thing has just been on fire lately. It was at 110. dollars This thing was was at 25. Another big runner up there. IBIO, which we famous, we've been trading this stock so many times. Uh, this stock, another Corona stock, it's down to a dollar. It's up to a buck forty. She's making lower lows, so I don't know if you guys are looking at. I'll be really careful about trading this one right here. So she's starting to make lower lows, not as nice as the as the B BMRA, which we all should have been in. And if you didn't, don't worry about. It. There's plenty more out there. Blue Apron, doing great, guys. I mean. Ken, I don't know if you still have it. You called it out early. I know you didn't get a good price on it. You were, like, you were kind of complaining about it. But you know what? It's doing pretty damn good right now. Listen, you know you know the story about Blue Apron. You know what? People got to stay home. They got confined. You, gotta, you, know, you, you want a home chef? That's Blue Apron for you. I mean, right there. And that stock is doing great. 
You ever bought a buck 40 on it? There you go. Congratulations. That's what it's about. So anyway, stock's been really strong. You still got resistance levels coming up. So uh, the only problem about Blue Apron, guys, they did reverse stock split on the stock. The stock got destroyed. And uh, this is basically, you know, this company's capitalizing on it. You know, regarding, not that they're capitalizing on it, just what they do. And obviously people are going to revert to what they need, you know, need to do to, to hunker in their home. So Blue Apron is right up their alley. And uh, to me, honestly, it's all speculation. I didn't hear anything. Listen, thing took off from $3. It's already at 10 You know, there's, remember, Costco obviously, you know, sold out, you know, selling toilet paper, nothing around. People run flocking there. I mean, those are things you got to look at that are going to probably come out with great earnings. I talked about that last time. And then obviously, you know, there's going to be opportunities out there. There's going to be opportunities. Uh, all these stocks right there are just getting, just getting decimated. All right. So um, Benito made about 40 cents at 940. Yep. I mean, the, the, the thing is this. If you're a swing trader, an investor, you are so miserable right now and so upset. And you know what? There's other ways of making money in trading. That's why, you know, one thing I always tell everybody, you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good investor, you damn well better learn a day trade first is what we're doing. Because that will show you right now that it is not time to buy. I mean, listen, I got a lot of cash on the side that I, I'm still on hold and I'm waiting for the bottom. Um, but we keep breaking lower lows. And we're not, and until we hear the worst of the worst of the worst news and we're not going any lower, that's when it's time to buy. And that's what I said on NASDAQ. That's what I'm saying on all the shows that are on, all the events that I've been on. And that's where we're at, you know? You know, I did jump in. Listen, I'm not right all the time. You know, I mean, I make mistakes too. And I, 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 I you have, if you can't admit to it, and you're obviously not a good trader, you know? But um, yeah, I mean, listen, jumped in a couple of here and there, whatever it is, as long as it's not a lot of money, you know? But, uh, but sometimes you get stuck in them. I mean, you really, you got no choice. You know what I mean? You still have confidence in them. Just listen. Somebody's going to buy it cheaper than you. And as a day trader, we see that all the time. You're looking at Blue Apron. I'm, I'll just make an example of that. You're looking at it. Some of you jumped in at 7. Some of you jumped at 5. And some of you like, well, you know, uh, he got it at 4. I can't pay 7. Yeah, well, no, now it's 10. But if you got it at 7, you know, you're doing pretty damn good. You know, and you know what, if you missed it at seven and you jumped in at eight o'clock at eight, eight fifty, and like, darn it, you know what? I didn't want to chase it seven fifty because, you know, uh, someone else got it. Do I buy it now? That's what trading's all about. And that's where it comes into trading. You got to have a game plan. You can't hold back. The trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I really appreciate that. I try to be as honest as possible. Listen, everybody's out. You know, what's so funny. Um, I get a lot of alerts from other people that, that, that do, that try to do what we do. And I haven't heard about them. I haven't heard them around anymore. That's the other funny part. You don't hear them speaking anymore. Right. And, and I'm not, I'm not here to bash anyone by anything, but I'm just going to tell you right now. Um, if, if the person's not broadcasting and the person's not continuing to do what they're doing and they're not, cause this is, this is, this is like, this is our time to shine. Then obviously shows to you if they're a swing trader or an investor or a day trader because day traders are cleaning up right now and you guys know that the big thing we learn as day traders just don't hold positions overnight and you know what trying to catch that bottom is gonna be really difficult so uh just gotta sit back and and, and, and watch you know what i mean but um that's that's that, and, that, and that's really all I, all I have to say so in the meantime guys listen you got class today don't forget about that if you're not going to be in class um you know we're going to be right here trading all day and then we got the afternoon meeting Let's just do what we do and still make money. All right, guys. It's been a it's been a hell of a market. This is what you train for. So let's go. Let's just keep up the momentum. All right. And and remember, you see something, cyber traders. You say something in a trading room. You're in a position. Let us know. If you get out of it, let us know. If you make money, you know what? Don't brag. If you lose money, that's okay. Let everybody know because if you don't, you know what? You could be a lot worse. It's all about keeping your losses small and run with your winners. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.